Select your character. <laughs> I'm still just like... <laughs> well, I mean... So the one big thing is you kind of want to just throw caution to the wind. And I really didn't. I was trying to play reactively and patiently and carefully. And you saw, like, the first round, I just kind of did stuff. And, like, I made him legitimately scared of command grabs because he kept jumping after that. And I should have real, I should have recognized that, I should have played off of that, and I should have punished that. But I never did because he hit me once and then I just went into scared mode. Oh, no. That's not going to hit you. 6A. Lovely, lovely 6A. Best move in the game. Take a bonanza on New Year's Eve. This is a good shot. Like, 6C is actually a pretty good move. And I should probably use it more. Like, it's not a fast overhead, obviously. It's very reactable. This dude really plays... I like... Oh, that sucks. He got lag. Um, I really like... How mustached villain plays off of the fact that like you recognize he's a good tager and so you see him go for things and so like one of the most common tick throw setups is jbja land 368 but he never goes oh no he never goes for it oh he almost did it that's a that is a confirm he always does normals afterwards and I really, I really like that. Because he plays off of the recognition that like, oh right, this dude's a good player. Oh, you can't overdrive there. And it worked out. But it's at that point, it's too slow. So bad for, but like, I just, homie just wants to play. And the internets are like, nah. Also, can I talk about how I hate this? How I can hit that button and it brings it up to like an actual rational level? Like, why would you want one per? That's stupid. Um. But then you come back out after you change it and it's reverted back to one line. I hate it. I love this guy though. Like, this is my favorite new player. Because that is one thing too. Like, you need to play off it. This is something that really only generally comes into play. This is why I think playing like in ranked is one of the worst places to play unless you are like 100% confident in yourself and your gameplay and you don't believe that you have like much matchup knowledge to learn and so you want to just see how you how you can work against somebody in like an unknown setting right like you don't know who they are they don't know who you are how are you going to match up right now how is what you know how is what you have learned going to work out but it's terrible to try and learn in because one of the biggest things is that Playing in sets, you get somebody who is going to adapt to everything that you do, who is going to, um, oh no. They're going to start recognizing certain patterns in your gameplay, and they might start blowing them up, and so somebody who, you know, like, might be getting blown up initially, like, for two or three games, all of a sudden they turn just invincible, because now they figured you out, oh boy. I feel bad. I mean, they, they just turn invincible because now they figured out your setups, they figured out everything that you do, and now, like, you just you can't hit them anymore, and so you're forced to adapt, you're forced to use different setups or use different, create different situations in order to open them up again. And that just doesn't exist in rank because you just you play two rounds, maybe three, and then you're done, and there's really not much time to adapt. There is, you can, kind of. But, like, if you see something once, you might think, okay, they're not going to do that again. And they do it again. And you lose the round because of it. And then you think, okay, well, they just did that twice. They're not going to do it a third time. And then they do it again. 
And then you recognize, like, okay, maybe this is all they really have. And so then, like, you block it once, and then they do something differently again, and now you just lost again. And, like, that's it. You didn't really have time to adapt, to figure out their methodology, to figure out their, uh... I don't know why I said methodology. That was not a correct term right there, but whatever. Um, you just you didn't have time to figure them out. Or their setups, or how, you know, like, they tend to... What they tend to lean towards, and what it's kind of... What you can be confident in them deciding to do. And that's one of the most important things to improve yourself as a player and improve your utilization of the character is to be put into those situations where you have to come up with something new. And so that's why like it's really important to just kind of play off of people's expectations where, yes, sometimes you're going to go for the thing that pretty much everybody goes for. Alternatively, you have 17 other options that you can go for there that are never before seen and that, like... I expect them to do X thing here, but now they do Y. Or maybe they do Z. Or maybe they do Omega. Who knows? And so it's that kind of thing that, like, really, really important to become better as a player. Also, a lot of that is very much applicable. It's like, there are actually some characters who are so solid. I would actually say Taukaka is probably the closest that you can... Or, or well, any character based around, like, 50-50s, Carl, for example. You can just do the same thing over and over, and it's like, you have to guess here no matter what. You have option A or you have option B. You're always going to set up that situation. Why wouldn't you? And then it just it's just a guess at that point. And then you have characters like Taukako who are just like, they don't really have incredibly strong mix-up, but they're just so solid that eventually you have to guess. And you have to just hope you made the correct guess. But see, like, right there, that's something I don't do. Like, both of these players are using to the fullest is the, um, Grand Punish Whip. What's it called? I don't even know what it's called in, um... I wonder if that was a, command, a failed command grab setup of some sort. No, if it was a command grab, they would have gotten Sledge if they were getting 6A. He killed. If he had done, he's going to live through this. Because he was at a very similar, very similar level of health. If he hadn't held that, he would have been fine, actually. But it's because it changes your trajectory in the air, and so like it creates a situation where it becomes a little bit difficult to anti-air Tagger. Because you don't know if you're gonna go for the um, the Grand Punish to slow your falling rate, or if they don't go for it, then they fall faster, and now you're too late to anti-air if you were trying to account for Grand Punish in the air. And that's something I don't do when I jump, and I really should. It's actually very strong. Oh no! <laughs> Because he's, he's not magnetized anymore, though. Oh, it doesn't matter, he's dead. No, actually, it doesn't... Off of a proper... No, not off of that one. Right? I'm trying to think. I think off a of Fatal Counter, you can still do, like... 5C into 6C off of that. And then off of the 6C, you can jump and do... Um, nice command grab. That actually seems really strong against Tager's backdash, because because of the added recovery, I'm not sure if he can still jump out. I feel like he might still be able to, if you just hold it. You have active flow, that's why he died. <laughs> this game... Alright, so anyways, so off of the Fatal Counter, if you can I believe of, when you have a Fatal Counter, no matter what, you can go for, um, 
5C, 6C, and then jump. And then you can land a JD, so you get that magnetism regardless. Although I don't know if that's an optimal, that used to be the optimal confirm off of a fatal counter, but I don't know if it still is anymore. Most of my Tager knowledge is from the past. That's why it's good to see other people like this who are better than me. Because they put in more time and they've learned more. And I can leech off of their knowledge. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. Oops, okay. I deserve that. I should not have been hit by that, but I'm a scrub. Nice. That took my spark bolt. I thought I was still out of range and I was safe to throw it out. Oh my goodness. I hesitated on the hit confirm, and that's what I get. <laughs> I deserve that. Oh boy. Oh, can't believe it still hit me. What? I like how I was still just standing there and I got hit anyway. I'm to hold this L, mate. I am holding up like half a second too late every single time. Nice, I'm dead. I didn't think he was gonna get the meter, so I wasn't really paying attention. I mean, it doesn't matter. I was dead regardless of whether or not I was paying attention. But he was, I didn't think he was gonna get the meter, period. So yeah, I got one wrong decision right there, and I got perfected for it. That is Tager for you. Man, I can't, I'm not gonna lie, like. This is nice to a degree, but I am one of the most impatient individuals that exists in the world. I can't do this. I can't do the waiting game. I can't play it. I can't sit here and wait for four or five other people. Like, can you imagine if this is actually full if there were eight people in here right now? I would be losing my mind waiting for my turn. At least I'm awake now, though. That doesn't help that my reactions are completely just gone. That is one of the biggest things that I realized. Because, like, I've, I've never slept well. Well, I, I take that back. When I was a kid, I slept very well. But in recent times, I've never managed to, like, have a really solid, consistent sleeping schedule that leaves me well-rested in general. Um... But it's a lot better than it used to be. And that was one of the first things I realized was like, when I was playing uh, Continuum Shift, I was like, oh yeah, everything's fine. I'm not having any problems whatsoever. You know, it's just all, I'm just reacting a little bit too slow. This is all my own fault, etc., etc. And then I actually started sleeping. And like, it was night and day when I actually started trying to play fighting games again between my like my decision making was just significantly better i was blocking things that before like or i was reacting to things properly that before i never really was all that good stuff and so it really is pretty amazing how significantly something like that actually impacts you oops oh you gotta punish that my bull even though actually he might not have been able to I would say at the very, like, in that situation, because, um, 6A. Ooh, that sucks. Ooh. 6A has a, so much whiff, just an absurd amount of whiff recovery to it. So he might have actually been in recovery, like, that entire time, basically. But I would have tried to do a 5A. 
5A, JA, JB, JC, Grand Punish. It sucks that Grand Punish is one of the worst, like, if I had to choose an Ender, much as I've shit-talked a Gadget Finger, Grand Punish is worse. Like, you actually get a free backwards roll, <laughs> a free backwards roll off of Grand Punish and there's nothing you can do about it. As Tager. This is kind of what I needed, though. Cause it's one thing to kind of just get blown up by people who are using characters that I don't use, or to get blown up by people who are like, because like I've lost every single one of you guys that utilizes Susano that I've played has blown me up in the Susano mirror match. But it's one thing to just be kind of like, yeah, I'm still learning this character, and I really haven't learned them well. I haven't learned them properly. I'm really bad at this character. And it's another thing entirely. One. To see Action. me just so significantly outgunned by everybody that's using Tager in here. I'd put money on Brain Demos over me if his internet was not uh, hating his location at the moment. And like that is so, so much. You can get a combo off of that, can't you? I mean, I know you used to be able to get a combo off that. Surely you still can. Because I don't think anything was changed in regard to, like, 6C startup or anything like that. Oh my god, I can't believe that grabs him. But I know you used to off of a counter hit, whatever that is. Is it 623 button? <laughs> B maybe? I don't know. Off of a counter hit of that, I know you used to be able to land a 6C afterwards. Awkward. But like, for instance, back in Continuum Shift, one of my biggest motivations is like, we have the NorCal Tager Army. And so I had to compete with people like Koopa and Orion X Elite, who were both significantly better than me in different ways. Orion X Elite's offense has always been, like, unquestionably amazing. He's one of the best players in NorCal. Um, and Koopa is basically, like, the opposite. He's always had stupidly good defense. And both of them were better than me in their own ways, and that's a huge motivating factor for me. It's not necessarily like, I want to get better, blah, blah, blah. I want to be better than the people around me. <laughs> That's really all that it comes down to. Like, it's just that competitive streak that it's like, no, 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 no. You don't get to be better than me. I gotta push myself to be better than you. And so if I'm like better than everybody else at the moment, I'm not the kind of person that can like sit on the top of the throne and continue to be amazing. Like, I'll start to get bored, I'll start to explore other characters, and I come back like, Oh yeah, I used to be amazing with this dude, and then I, I'm not... I'm not anymore. <laughs> That's how it always used to be. Like, in every competition, I am, like, a completely different person if somebody around me is pushing me to be better. Versus me just, like, playing off of whatever. But, like, I still remember a track and field. I used to run the 400 meter in middle school. And I still remember one of my track coaches at the time getting angry that somebody stole my spot on the other heat, because there were two heats uh, at an invitational for the 400 meter, and one of them featured, like, the stronger runners, and then, so, like, I was supposed to be in that one, because I was my school's fastest runner for the 400 meter, but the other person was like, hey, can I get this spot, I want, I need to go earlier, and so I was like, yeah, sure, take it, whatever. And my coach actually got mad because since I was in the second heat, I really didn't have any competition in that. And so nobody was pushing me. I just, I easily won. And I actually wound up getting silver because our other school's number two runner, who I'm usually like barely faster than. And it's because like, he's pushing me. He's right behind. I know he's right there. I know he's right behind me that I go faster so that I make sure that he can't catch up to me because I wasn't running with him. Oh no, don't do that. Because I wasn't running with him. I ran slower than my usual average time. And my coach was angry about that. 
And it's the same thing with everything. Like, if I'm playing a team sport and we're playing, like, man-on-man -man defense or something like that, if I'm with somebody that's bad, I play poorly. Because I don't need to play well to beat this one person. But if I'm playing against somebody that's amazing, now I need to step up and get better. That kind of stuff. And it's the same thing here. Like, I'm watching multiple Tager players do significantly better than me. And it just shows me. Nice. It just shows me how far I have to play. Like, I can't rest on my laurels, so to speak. But this is also one of the biggest reasons why I've been hesitant to uh, open up a new lobby. Just the diversity and connections. There's nothing you can really do about it, right? Like, it's nobody's fault. And it, I certainly don't blame other people for wanting to get their matches in against me to see how they hold up against me to see whether or not they can, you know, like, whatever, whatever your motivations are for playing me. Um, Please select your character. But it, you, just, you can't help the fact that, like, my connection is average at best. Maybe you're halfway across the world, and there's really almost no way to have a good connection in that scenario to begin with. It just sucks, and I feel bad about it. I hate this dude's color though. Everything else, mustached villain, you my dude. But command throw got the colors. I also respect his command grabs more. I respect his hammers more too. Oh my god, why did that work? <laughs> hammers always had a ridiculous hitbox, but I didn't know it was that ridiculous. I didn't know it was that with punishable. Oh good golly. I learned something today. <laughs> Nailed it! Oh, if he gets like the actual... No, he didn't do it! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Two purple throws in a row! Net play, please! That's also something that you don't really expect either, though. Like, if you're trying to do something, you're kind of waiting for that thing to come out, and then you realize, like, you've been put into a scenario where it's impossible for anything to come out. That's what a purple bro is. And so, like, you're just kind of waiting for something to come out, and then waiting to react off of what you're trying to do. And by that time, you notice, like, oh, wait. My thing isn't happening. It's too late at that point. Forty-six hundred damage. Yay, Tager. You could have killed, bruh. Where? Is the I mean, that works. But three C A Sledge Hammer. Guaranteed kill. Take the guaranteed kill. See, he knows how to hammer. That's one of the big things that sucks about Tager, though. It's pretty much all of his, like, proper hit confirms. <laughs> you just should have kept, you should have stuck with the J2C, dude. Almost all of his real hit confirms, like... They go into something unsafe. God damn it. Okay, cool. Command throw, you're a good guy. <laughs> I was actually going to tell him, like, after you beat me... It's bound to happen. Oh no. <laughs> Should have picked Asriel. After you beat me pass? But he knew. I'm actually okay Like if, if you guys watch this video. Because I, I put up, in case you have not, 
followed me on Twitter. I, I talked about that I would open this on there, so if you want notifications on that, follow me there. But I mentioned that, you know, like, if you run the gauntlet on everybody, you beat everybody once, please pass at that point, give everybody a good turn. Like, I don't want a scenario where there's one person just significantly outplaying everybody and they just run the lobby for the entirety of it. Um, but so... To add an addendum to that rule, if you start by beating me and you want to run it back against me again, oh dear god. What? I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly fine with that. Oh, that was supposed to be a 2C. That's what I get for trying to answer here, as per usual. Interesting that he didn't go behind me. I just want to answer here, people, man. That was the uppercut, right? Why didn't it hit me? That has invincibility. That should have hit me. Huh. Oh, that's right. I forgot that didn't work. He had a duck that would have hit. Oh. Why didn't I jump? I'm a scrub. I did two way. To further follow up on the fact that I'm a scrub. Am I gonna hit from here? Well, almost. Mostly I wanted to do that so I could finish off getting... I didn't even know if I still had um, Spark Bolt at that point in time. But yeah, just to reiterate. If you start by beating me, and you run the gauntlet on everybody, and you want to run back against me specifically, that's perfectly fine. After that, good, because I am opening this up so people can play me. So that's, I think, I feel like that's fair. I'm not trying to make it like a special rule so I can get a run back or something like that. Please select your character. So if I do this again, that becomes a thing. I just haven't played Brain Demos yet, have I? Looks like it smoothed out decently. So does he just have a bad connection with everybody but me? That would suck. We'll see what the input lag is like when we start. No, this is, this is fine. I think. There's a little bit. Oh god. And a little bit, but yeah, it's definitely it definitely does not look anywhere near as bad. Oh god. So does this work? No, it doesn't, okay. Thinking like, oh yeah, I timed that correctly. <laughs> oh my god, I can't do it. There it is. Half their magnetism is wore off. Alright, what do I think he's gonna do? Magnet egg wheel? I mistimed it. 
I mistimed it, and that's what I get. I should have just gone for something simple. I should have just done 5C Atomic Collider. Or something like that. I shouldn't have gone for the combo. Oh. I was waiting for that and I tried to 360. That's a that is an occasion actually. Oh never mind, there was another round. I'm being egotistical and arrogant. I thought I just won. What? Nice, not nice. Oh, why did that hit you? Is that late? That was late. Should attack. I'm sorry. I did not deserve that. But yeah, I was gonna say, um, most of the time it's pretty bad to do a whiffed burst, but in that occasion, I think it would have been fine. I'm not sure how good um, Atomic Collider is at that height. Because I would hope that because you're just like you're stuck stationary right and so like you're very easily manipulated at that point in time that atomic collider regardless of how high you are in the air if started while you're still in burst animation you'd get pulled straight to it but i think like if i didn't react completely like right away you'd probably fall to the ground and not get grabbed by that the wheel of fate is so it's a potential way to live through that I want a 3C. I'm the best. Did you uh, just... Yeah. Come I cannot 360 just like pretty much every single random sledge you see me do meant to be a 360. <laughs> ah. I'm an idiot. Nailed it. Yeah, don't use that in neutral. That was supposed to be a 720. <laughs> I can't do 360s. I can't do 720s. Why am I using this character? I'm just happy I got a full lobby. Oh wait, do you get those like emotes? Aw, oh, you should get the emotes. That's stupid. Wait, did I just pass? My bad. <laughs> I actually didn't even mean to pass there, but I'll take it. I just wanted to, uh... I didn't mean to pass. It's punk. I'm sorry. <gasps> Damn it. I think that would have been my first time. That would have been my first time playing him too. God damn it! I was trying oh, to figure out. I was trying to figure out whether or not the. Turn off the game sound. 
Can I? I wish I could type this, in here. Like, I don't want to leave button. to type. If you push sound, it turns off the game sound. If you push chat, it turns off chat. I can't hear microphones. So, sorry. Like, I can hear that there's a microphone happening, but I can't really hear. <laughs> it's going to show up fantastically on the capture. It's probably going to be the loudest thing there. <laughs> but, in terms of it coming out of my TV, I really can't hear it. But, yeah, I was trying to figure out whether or not those emotes that you get, like the little emojis that you can use in the lobby. What? No. I just learned something so new today. I had no idea, because I was wondering why, because the very first time I saw him get a fatal counter, I saw him go for that uh, unmagnetized gadget finger whiff. And then off of that, you can do a super jump JB. Does it have to be JB? Maybe it has to be JA. I don't know. But you can do a super jump something chain because it's a fatal counter off of that gadget finger whiff. I had no idea you could do Atomic Collider 5A, 5C. That's amazing. Also, I need to start doing that setup he uses. He crossed up. 360B pulled him back through and grabbed him. <laughs> Blaze blue. I'm just, I'm so mad, like, this dude's probably been waiting the entire time, like, hey man, we get to play, and then I accidentally pass. Oh my god. Oh, Let me tell, I just, I want to be able to type. Uh, her name is, uh, hang on. Just let me type. Uh, it's so dumb that I can't type while people are still, like, why? Is it gonna break the game? Uh... I don't know how to look at that. Oh. Huh. Please select your Fuck character. it, boy. <laughs> Iron Tiger. Iron Tiger. Seriously? You're gonna do me like that? I feel so like this dude's just been sitting here like, man. I mean, I don't know how excited. I'm hoping that people are excited to see me. <laughs> but like, I assume he joined in order to mostly play me. That's why this lobby is open. And I goddamn accidentally pass. I am so dumb!